Hello everybody and welcome back to FM24 with the CD Toledo Youth Academy Challenge and today is the greatest day. It's Youth Intake Day. Let's dive into it and see who we've got. Yes, hello fellow managers. Welcome back to the save and you can see in the inbox one unread piece of message one unread piece of message, no. One unread piece of news, Toledo announced new intake of youth players. Yes, we have our intake today. It's going to be lovely. And uh, we're actually, we've got a game coming up against Barcelona as well, which is uh, interesting. A quick review then of everything of the season so far. So, the league, we are still second, one point behind Real Madrid. Because, uh, well, we've got two games in hand. They beat us 4-0 and then lost to Barcelona 2-0, which brings Barcelona back into the title race. Uh, they are one point behind us, but again, we have two games in hand on both of our title rivals. So we should be in a good position again, really. I mean, I was going to say no matter what happens against Barcelona. If they beat us, they go to 76 and we have two games in hand on them and we can still go to 80 if we win both of our games. So... Yeah, we should be okay, to be honest. We are in pole position to win the league. We've got uh, Barcelona, Atletico, Madrid coming up. Other than that, all the other games are very winnable, so we should be in a good position. Uh, we got knocked out by Real Madrid in the Champions League in just outrageous fashion la uh, in the last episode. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's heartbreaking. Um, they are two shots on target. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and we've got Barcelona in the final of the Copa del Rey, which is quite interesting as well. So if you want to see the Copa del Rey as a game, let me know. But we are also very close to the end of the season. Um, and the Copa del Rey doesn't actually matter for the challenge at all. It's about the ideally just the Champions League. But we want to win the league and the Champions League. I'm not too fussed about the Copa del Rey in all honesty. Uh, Miguel Moreno is massively amongst the goals. 35 goals this year in 44 appearances. 14 goals in like 44 appearances for Joel Pozzo as well, uh, taking them all into account. 12 in 36 for Inigo Mendoza, who is now back from injury and wanted by Al Hilal. Uh, but yeah, we've been playing very, very well. Assist, Joel Pozzo leading the way with 19. 17 for Kike Andreas. He's wanted by Arsenal, Brighton and Al Hilal as well. And then 13 for Phil Lewis, showing the vital need, or the vital output, not need, but the vital output of our fullbacks uh, this season has been really, really good. So yes, but without further ado, we will get into that final piece of news. And here are our new intake of youth players and okay we've got one elite talent which isn't actually too bad because our elite talents we know are going to be like next gen level because we've had two people be very high up in the next gen list uh, we've got one elite talent two top talents uh, all of those are spanish and we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine good talents and three decent talents with an American called Alexander Alexander. That is one of the most American things I've ever seen. Um, yeah, glory to America and all that. Uh, we're probably... We, we'll have a look at the decent talents as well. But yeah, we've got an American, an Englishman, Ivorian in there. And then everybody else, I think, is Spanish, which is pretty cool. So have a Taboada. Tab, Taboada? Taboada? Have a... Taboada. We'll go Javi Taboada. 15 years old, uh, casual personality, enthusiastic fullback. Crossing's okay. First touch 11, tackling 11, technique 16. Teamwork 17, work rate 16. Stamina 13, balance 13. A lot, he needs to get a lot better, a lot quicker. Um, inconsistent, lacks pace. Probably not going to get a contract, to be honest. Um, Jose Manuel Calvo, centre-back. Uh, he is a balanced personality, young centre-back. He's got heading four, marking five, tackling nine. Bravery, 13. Decisions, 11. Work rate, 12. Teamwork, 10. Positioning, 6. Jumping reach, 10. Strength, 2. Um, he is reasonably quick for a centre-back. Pace, 9. Acceleration, 11. Uh, balance, 12 as well. Uh, fairly inconsistent. Needs to get down the gym. It's the standard for these lower-ranked players that we always have. Angel Alemani is a centre-back as well. Um, balanced young centre-back. Free kick taking 12, marking 10, tackling 16. That's very good tackling. Heading 9, determination 11, leadership 14, but positioning work rate, teamwork all 8 or below. Yeah, he's got, needs to improve a lot. Pace 6, acceleration 9, balance 14, fitness 13, jumping reach 10, strength 6. It's not dreadful, but he's fairly inconsistent, one-footed. 
I don't think those three will be getting deals, to be honest. Right, let's go and look at our American hero, Alexander Alexander. Half a star current ability, two and a half star potential. Right midfielder, he is an unambitious young winger. Um, Alexander, Alexander. Dribbling 14, that's pretty decent. Crossing 9, aggression 11, leadership 11, off the ball 11, work rate 14, teamwork 10, acceleration 9. That's not very good for a winger. Um, balance isn't great. Jumping reach is poor at 3, natural fitness 14, pace 11, stamina 11. Not too bad, but one footed, inconsistent, um, not at the right level. What we've got here lacks game intelligence, doesn't have a good personality. And his physical strength is crap as well. Uh, my phone is going, so excuse me. Next up then, Eduardo Fuentes on attack midfield right. Can play all the way down the right-hand side. One star current ability, two and a half star potential. Eduardo Fuentes is a light-hearted, promising winger. Now, light-hearted is a, a good personality, apparently. Um, crossing is poor, six. Dribbling, nine. First touch, seven. Passing, ten. Technique, twelve. Determination, eleven. Flair, twelve. Teamwork, eleven. Aggression, twelve. Good physicals, though. Acceleration, twelve. Agility, four. 14, pace 13, fitness 12, uh, needs to improve his strength and his jumping reach a little bit, but uh, not bad in terms of physicals, mentals probably need a, quite a bit of work, composure 3, bravery 1, anticipation 5, concentration 5, decision 6, in fact his mentals are dreadful um, and technically not, not the best either. I think we're back in a position where we can start being a little bit picky with our players, but uh, attack midfield centre, Jared Anton, 1 star current ability, 3 star potential. He is a unambitious young attacking midfielder, so no standout personality so far, but mentally he's looking pretty decent. Free kick taking 13, technique 11, uh, passing 6, dribbling 9, aggression 11, composure 11, decisions 12, flair 14, leadership 14, teamwork 11, work rate 12, agility 11, balance 12, natural fitness 12, pace 11. I mean, he's got a pretty decent start starting position, but... We'll see. Uh, very consistent, which is good. Lots of room to grow. He's got a bit of um, the ability to do the unexpected. Uh, can't head the ball. Bad personality and needs to improve his technical limitations. So it's not it's not amazing so far, is it? Uh, Serge Toure, midfield left, one star current ability, two and a half star potential. Um, looks pretty similar, actually. Decent mentals, decent physicals. Technicals crossing 13, finishing 11, technique 13. That's That's pretty good. And mentally, aggression 16, bravery 18, flair 12, work rate 14, physical acceleration 11, agility 11, balance 14, pace 11, stamina 11. Again, it's a decent starting base. He's unambitious again, which is a little bit irritating. Uh, he's got a lack of determination, a poor personality, lacks game intelligence, not consistent. Uh, yeah, it's disappointing. It's disappointing to see those sorts. If you had those sorts of starting attributes, potentially with high determination and like perfectionist model citizen professional professional even maybe like slightly professional would be pretty decent uh left back august augustin size uh who is spanish one star current ability three star potential augustin size um he's a balanced enthusiastic fullback crossing eight marking 13 first touch seven tackling eight passing seven technique 12 it's okay uh, aggression 13, bravery 11, decisions 11, determination 14, teamwork 16, work rate 16, positioning 10, concentration 7 is really low, acceleration 7, that's dreadful for a fullback, in the, the what we need, agility 8, balance 5, jumping reach 12, fitness 12, pace 9, stamina 11, 6 foot 2, probably could be a centre back to be honest, I know it'd be wasting his crossing, he can't tackle, can't really head, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see if he gets a uh, it needs to add consistency to his game. Um, I can't remember what this one is. Com lack of composure. Slow player, but works well in a team. Uh, a balanced personality. Can play a couple of positions. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the assistant says after their game. Uh, Roberto Arteaga. Striker centre. Half a star current ability, two and a half star potential. I don't know why I said striker centre. Everyone's a striker centre if they're a striker. Uh, balance young striker, finishing 12. Free kick taking 13, passing 13, technique 15. That's pretty good. It's not too bad. Um, anticipation 10, composure 6, decisions 9, determination 13, flair 13. Leadership 11, teamwork 12, vision 11, work rate 7, off the ball 9 isn't great. Balance 7, strength 5, natural fitness 14, 5 foot 6. Needs to work on his jumping reach, has a competitive streak, uh, and needs to be taught how to be an effective aerial presence. But 
Has good technical approach, lots of room to grow, a good balanced personality, consistent performer, um, good technique, especially when striking a football. I mean, straight away I'd get him just to power shots because his composure is so weak. But yeah, no, it's not dread. It's it's not dreadful, but it's hard to be really sort of infused about this so far. But we are only in the good talents, and our squad is very strong, so it's going to get sort of harder to get these elite talents coming through. Uh, Pablo Serdan at midfield right, one star current ability, three star potential. He's a fairly determined young winger. That's a good start. Crossing 13, free kick taking 12, first touch 8, dribbling 6, that's crap. Passing 9, technique 13, aggression 12, bravery 10, determination 17, teamwork 12, okay, not bad. Acceleration 12, agility 11, jumping reach 14, natural fitness 12, but pace and stamina below 10. But he's 6 foot 5 on the wing with really good jumping reach, so it's sort of like a John Parsons sort of player, but just not as good. Um, look to add greater consistency to his game. He's not at the right level. Needs to do a better job in marking. Not fussed about that. He's going to be playing. Okay, both of his negatives in terms of technicals are about marking, so not too worried about that. A uh, couple of positions. He's got a good jumping reach, fair amount of pace, determined personality, and lots of room to grow. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Tries to play his way out of trouble is an interesting trait that we'll probably get rid of because he's got flair nine. So. Don't really see that working at all. Not too bad, though, for Roberto Arteasia. No, that was Pablo Saranda, wasn't it? Uh, next up, attacking field left. Bakari Tiam, half a star current ability, two and a half star potential. 15 years old, unambitious young winger. Crossing 10, first touch 13, finishing 11, technique 16, flair 14, leadership 13, determination 11, fitness 13, balance 15, and then everything else is pretty much 10 or below. Five foot four. Doesn't look great. Lacking pace as a winger, lacking passing as a central midfielder. Uh, he's probably not going. He's probably going to be binned off. Doesn't get stuck into challenges. Very, very inconsistent uh, and unambitious. Is a bad personality. Yeah, he's not going. I'm not even going to look anymore. He's not going to get a contract um, after seeing those sorts of things. Ramesses, midfield centre, half a star current ability, three star potential. Ramesses is an unambitious young. What's with all the unambitiousness? First touch, 15. Free kick taking, 11. Passing, 11. Decisions, 11. Vision and work rate, 11 and 12. Dec yeah, that's not bad, but physically he's really crap. Balance, 13 is his best attribute. Natural finishing, 10. Natural finishing. Natural fitness, 10. Um, he's injury prone. He's not on the right level. He can't mark. He's got a bad personality. He can't be clinical in front of goal, but he's versatile. Uh, he's a skillful player. He's got good consistent performances. He's got lots of room to grow. And he's very technical. I can't see it really working for him. I mean, first touch passing is pretty good. Vision 11 work. I mean, he could be a playmaker that you just don't ask to do anything physical. Potentially. Ramesses, potentially. Uh, goalkeeper, one-star current ability, three-star potential. Angel Torres is a young, balanced personality goalkeeper. Fairly inconsistent. Uh, very good at safely securing the ball in pressure situations with handling 16. Kicking 13, reflexes 13, punt rushing out tendency 13. Bravery 14, teamwork 12. Agility 11, jumping reach 12. Natural fitness 13, he's 6 foot 3. He's, he's alright. It's always good to have goalkeepers coming through, as we say. Right, on to the top talents. This is the best three that we're more interested in, to be honest. Striker can play attacking midfield, right midfield, right wing. Roberto Godoy. Is a striker centre, one star current ability, three and a half star potential. Roberto Godoy is a light hearted striker, which they say is a good personality. Uh, dribbling 11, free kick taking 11, first touch 10, pass passing 10, technique 15. That's not too bad. Uh, aggression 15, he'll run and close the ball down aggressively. Composure 11, decisions 12, determination 12, flair 15, teamwork 15, vision 11, off the ball 7 needs to improve. Balance 14, fitness 16, 5 for 8, jumping reach 8, pace 10, acceleration 10, agility 10. Yeah, he's not a bad. He's easily the best player we've seen so far, which is good. Needs to be taught how to be an effective aerial presence, needs to get us down the gym. But he's versatile, a uh, skillful player, a light-hearted and jovial character, improve a lot in the future, good technical approach, and a consistent performer as well. So that is, that, okay, yeah, he's... Roberto Godoy is looking like the best so far. Right back, centre back, left back. David Tabuoda. It's another Tabuoda. Yeah, we had Javi. We've had Javi and now we've got David. One star current ability, three and a half star potential. 
David Tabuoda. Oh, okay. It jumps out on me straight away because really good physicals and mentals at a young age, I think, is really good. Young, unambitious centre-back. Uh, first touch, 12. Crossing, 10. Dribbling, 8. Not fussed about that. It says he's a centre-back. Heading, 6. Passing, 9. Marking, 8. Tackling, 8. He probably is a fullback, to be honest. Um, but mentally, aggression, 16. Bravery, 13. Determination, 12. Flair, 13. Leadership, 13. Off the ball, 11. Teamwork, 12. Work rate, 16. Positioning, 10. We'll work on that. Anticipation 4 and decisions 10. But physically, acceleration 13, balance 14, pace 12, stamina 11, fitness 13, jumping reach of 8, strength of 4. It's a good it's a good base because you can work on those technicals quite a lot. Um, looking at his pros and cons, uh, needs to be taught to be an effective aerial presence, not at the right level. Uh, plenty of room to develop his anticipation skills and he doesn't have a great personality. So we can try and mentor that. I don't think mentoring is that strong this year. Uh, versatile. He's a committed player, gives all his scores, lots of room to grow, works really hard for the team, and very consistent, which is good. Which is good. Yeah, I quite like the look of uh, David Tabuoda. Right, then we go on to our only elite talent. One star current ability, five star potential. Andreas Pirara. Pirara? I would say Pereira, but there's no I in it, so I think it is Pirara. Uh, midfield centre, attacking midfield centre, or striker. Here he is, a balanced, promising midfielder. Um, okay, so let's look at some stats. Long shots, 11. Passing, 11. Tackling, 11. Technique, 12. Free kick taking, 10. Aggression, 18. Anticipation, 11. Concentration, 8. Bravery, 7. Determination, 12. Flair, 11. Vision, 12. Work rate, 15. That's all, yeah, that's okay. Agility, 11. Stamina, uh, 15. Pace, 10. Strength, 5. Natural fitness, 4. Jumping reach, 6. Balance six. Okay, so physically he needs a lot of work. He's five foot six. He physically does need a lot of work. There's the basis of a good player. According that he's got very apparently very high potential. I assume he's going to grow quite a lot, but we'll have to wait and see. Crossing is poor, um, and he needs to get down the gym to work on his strength and natural fitness. Can play a couple of positions. Committed player that gives all of his scores. Balance the normal personality. Uh, could improve a lot in the future and works really hard for the team. It's okay, isn't it? It's not amazing. He is two-footed as well, which does help. I'm actually probably most excited by David Tabuoda, I think. I think he's probably the one I'm most excited about, David Tabuoda. Definitely these three. The others are a bit hit and miss um, in the in the good talents. It's definitely hit and miss. The decent talents, I don't think any of them will get a contract. I'm not too sure. Let me know your thoughts down below. It is tough to get good youth throughout youth intakes when your squad is stronger, but... For example, they're saying Andres Pereira is a five-star player. And the five-star players we have um, at the moment are Sergio Vallejo, who's still only 17 and improving, looking very, very good, which is awesome. Uh, John Parsons is a five-star potential player. He's actually dropping down a little bit. Probably need to get him a bit more game time um, if we can. That would be useful. Uh, Joel Pozzo is four and a half star, and he is, like, really good. Like, really, really good. In fact, he hasn't been capped by Spain. Sergio Vallejo just got capped by Spain and scored on his debut. So, no, that's a telltale sign to say which one should be rotating. But then if you think, like, Miguel Moreno was a five-star player and look how good he's become. So, I do think we need to give these this the, these this crop a, a, a chance. I mean, even then, you've got, like, three-and-a-half-star players. We've got David Padron, who is very good as a backup goalkeeper. Joe Page, our starting goalkeeper, is four-star. So, I, can't, I don't think we can write these guys off, because three and a half stars, five stars, and things like that could be very, very good. So, I'm intrigued to see where we go. But, yes, we have the Copa del Rey final against Barcelona. Um, I might do that if enough of you ask for it in the comments section. If not, we'll just go straight through into the end of the season, where hopefully... We wrap up the league title, but we'll have to wait and find out about that one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Uh, I really want to hit 10,000 subscribers before FM25 comes out, if possible. It's proving difficult. I think FM is getting to the end of its cycle, so there's less interest in the game in general. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Go check out the second channel. Check out all the Twitch stuff as well. I hope to see you all very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.